Hi everyone, I'm Sunny, and welcome to the AVCANS YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll be using NDI technology to transmit the camera's video signal to the computer. To do this, simply ensure the camera and computer are on the same network and that the camera has been assigned an IP address on the network. It's important to note that NDI isn't a default feature of OBS. However, as open source software, OBS supports functionality expansion via third-party plugins. So, we first need to download and install OBS from the official website. After that, we also need to download the OBS NDI plugin, the link to which is in the video description. You just need to download and install step-by-step -step according to the above tutorial. Once the plugins are installed, we need to configure NDI on the camera. If you've watched our previous initial setup video, you'll remember, open any web browser, enter the camera's IP address, and log in with the username admin and password admin123. Once logged in, you'll see the camera's settings menu. Next, we'll configure several key options. Set NDI device name. Under the NDI config menu, the NDI device name is the identifier for the camera on the network. It's recommended to set a unique and easy to remember name for each camera. For example, I named the first one PTZ1 and the second one PTZ2. Click Save after setting. Adjust video parameters. Go to the video config page. The settings for Stream 1 directly affect the NDI video quality. Focus on three parameters. Select 1080p for resolution. Set the frame rate to 30 FPS. The bit rate determines video quality. If your gigabit switch and computer are well performing, you can try setting it to the maximum. After all settings are done, click Save and restart the camera. Then we can return to OBS to continue. After installing all components and launching OBS, you'll see its interface layout. The large black blank area at the top is called the canvas. The content pushed out during the live stream is what's displayed on the canvas. We can add content to the canvas through scenes. A scene is a collection of multiple sources. In the sources area, we can add camera feeds, graphic materials, and other content needed in OBS. By switching between different scenes, we can switch between different content or camera feeds. In OBS, first create a scene named Camera1. Since we've already installed the OBS NDI plugin, click the plus button in the sources section, and you'll see the NDI source option. Select it and name it, I named mine AVCANS PTZ1. After the settings dialog pops up, find the PTZ1 we set for the camera earlier in the source name list. The name displayed here is the device name we set in the camera's NDI configuration. Select highest for bandwidth to use the previously set stream one parameters. Also, since we're using multiple cameras, select network for the sync option. After testing, setting the latency mode to low provides the best and smoothest video frame stability. Click OK, and the feed from the first camera will appear on the OBS canvas. Repeat the above steps to add the second camera. Create a new scene named Camera 2, add an NDI source, and select the second camera. Then by clicking on different scenes, you can switch the camera feed displayed during the live stream. OBS also has a useful plugin the PTZ Control plugin, which allows us to control the camera directly within OBS. This way, all video-related operations can be done in one software, which is very convenient. The link to this plugin is also in the video description, so please download and install it. After downloading the plugin and restarting OBS, go to the Docs menu in the upper left corner, select PTZ Controls, and dock the control panel next to the canvas. Next, click the gear icon in the lower left corner of the panel to enter the configuration interface. Click the plus button, select Visca TCP, double click the name to edit it, then select the camera you want to control in the source column and enter the camera's IP address below. 
click Apply and exit the interface. Now when you select the camera in the left list, you can control it. Additionally, you can move to the plus position below, name the preset, right-click and select Save Preset. Now when you double-click the preset, the camera will move to that position. Now that the camera is connected to OBS and can be controlled within the software, we can set the live stream parameters and prepare to go live. Click the Settings button in the lower right corner of OBS, go to the Output page, and first switch the mode from Simple to Advanced at the top. In the Streaming tab, the choice of encoder is crucial. If your computer has a graphics card capable of handling encoding, prioritize using hardware encoding because the encoding process is very CPU intensive and a graphics card with a built-in video encoder can offload this load, making the live stream smoother. If you don't have a dedicated graphics card, select X264 and let the computer's CPU handle the encoding. It's recommended to choose CBR for rate control, which is a common mode for live streaming Set the bitrate to 1000, i.e. 10 megabytes per second, which is the recommended bitrate for 1080p 30fps live streaming on YouTube. Keep other parameters at their default values unless you need to debug due to live stream issues. Now go to the stream page, select YouTube from the service drop-down menu, click connect account, and log in to the YouTube account you want to use for live streaming to complete the authorization. Then return to OBS, click OK, and you're ready to start streaming. Just click the Start Streaming button and then enter the broadcast information for YouTube. You need to set the title, privacy settings, and whether the video is made for kids. You can also add other content, such as a description and thumbnail. Once all settings are done, click Create Broadcast and Start Streaming, and your live stream will go live on YouTube. As you can see, with just an ACANS camera, and a computer, plus OBS software, you can build a powerful live streaming system. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, remember to do so. We'll update more tutorials later to help you make the most of your camera. See you next time. Bye!